What is up YouTube? This is Joe XOF here with an instructional video on how to completely dominate all versions of OWL by using the umbrella. The reason why I have decided to make this video is because I see a lot of people through YouTube comments, Reddit, and even my own personal messages asking how to properly do the technique and what to watch out for. To be quite honest with you, if you're speedrunning the game or the fight, I highly recommend not using this technique because it is honestly all luck based if Owl does his part or the move. Baiting the move out requires a lot of patience, reaction timing, and awareness on your part of when the move is going to take place and when you need to execute it. There's a lot of risk and reward for performing this. Another reason why I've decided to make this video is because recently I did a video on speedrunning Inner Father, which by all means was pure luck, and managed to beat him using the umbrella twice in a little over one minute. I first found this technique performed by a YouTuber named Ongball. The dude destroyed him in like 54 seconds or something, and since then I was enamored by it. I'll link his original video down in the description below along with my one minute kill on Inner Father. And also, while you're there, checking the description, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more Sekiro content coming from yours truly. Now the move Owl does in order for us to perform the Umbrella Deflect is called the Chasing Slice. What he does is throw a delayed shuriken and immediately ah! follows up with a horizontal slice. Most players either dodge behind him or deflect the attack to play it safe. If you choose to deflect it however, your posture will result in going really high or if it has already taken some damage your deflect bar will break. It is a pretty dangerous move and can either do a ton of damage if you don't deflect it right or ultimately kill you. Now you may be asking yourself how come the umbrella does so much posture damage? Well the best answer I can give you is this YouTube comment which explains it perfectly. So to summarize the comment in simpler terms, the chasing slice has a weird interaction. Therefore, in close range, it's considered a multi-hit. If you deflect with the sword, your posture will break. But if you use the umbrella, it has longer active deflect frames and his posture goes up super high. Now that we know what the move is and understand how the umbrella deflect works, let's go ahead and break down two key things to keep in mind and to prepare yourself. One, how to perform it correctly. If you see the move coming, make sure you are in very close, and I mean close, proximity of Owl. Once you see his hand raised in the air, he's delaying his shuriken throw. That is your cue to prepare to press the deflect button and deflect with your sword. That's part one. Part 2, the immediate follow-up is his horizontal slice. You will see him reaching to the far right side. At that moment, that is when you want to press your prosthetic button and deflect him with your umbrella. You will know you performed this correctly by hearing three loud deflecting noises and noticing a giant increase in his posture bar. If he's already 60 to 70% filled on his posture bar, you can break his posture and death blow him. One side note I'd like to add is that if you're not closed in on Owl, but still within range of getting close, you can dodge forward through the delayed shuriken, but be prepared to immediately deflect with the umbrella. You'll still have time to get the full posture effect on him. Also, if you want to get the most out of this deflect, using the Yashiriku Sugar will achieve this. 2. How to bait this move out. All versions of Owl have a chance of starting the fight with Chasing Slice. However, the RNG of that happening are very rare. If this does take place, however, after casting the Yashiriku Sugar at the beginning of the fight, start running towards him immediately or dash forward if he's running towards you. In the Great Shinobi Owl fight, Phase 1 is the toughest to bait out of him. My suggestion is don't even bother unless you get him doing it at the beginning of the fight. Your best chances of him doing Chasing Slice is Phase 2. Phase 2 Owl will perform a springboard kick where he kicks off of you and vaults backward. 
While doing this, he does his Poison Splash attack. During the Poison Splash attack, run or dash immediately towards him until you are very close. You have a pretty good chance that he will perform the Chasing Slice here, especially if it's early in the fight. If he does not perform it, he's going to do a Posture Recovery Stance or a Spinning Overhead Slam. In the Owl Father and Inner Father fight, Phase 1 is probably your only safe bet on getting good RNG for the Chasing Slice. If you get him doing the Chasing Slice at the beginning of the fight, we're off to the races. One good way to bait out the Chasing Slice is if you see him doing an evasive gunpowder flash, or in other words, throwing firecrackers. Dash or run underneath the firecrackers. Once you are close to him, there is a good chance he will do the Chasing Slice. If not, he will use it as a way to evade you or perform Shadowfall. One rare occasion he does Chasing Slice is when he begins to zigzag around you. After he's done, he will throw a Shuriken and then if you're lucky, he will perform a Chasing Slice. For Phase 2, I have not been lucky enough to encounter any, but if anyone would like to share in the comments if they found a way to bait it out of him during this phase, by all means, comment below. With that being said, that is how to perform the Umbrella Deflect on Owl and signs to watch out for on certain phases of the fights. If you can perform these deflections perfectly, I assure you, Owl will be an afterthought. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, my name is Joe XOF. I truly appreciate you all watching this video today. I also live stream on Twitch. I will leave a link in the description below. But again, thank you so much for joining me today and watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.